So, got home from work, and what did I find? A roll of chewed up to new, what is this, toilet paper. And I know that it's Armani, but Bandit seems to think that it was him. Bandit, you didn't do this, did you? Hmm? I don't know. I know that it was Armani, because Ar Bandit doesn't eat toilet paper. Armani eats every last bit of toilet paper, always. I don't know. Maybe Bandit started eating toilet paper because he learned it from Armani? <laughs> I'm getting excited for the 4th of July. I'm watching little fireworks videos on the computer because I'm going to try to go with Adam tonight to there's a fireworks stand like right up the street from my house that sells the good stuff. Now here in Florida, we're not supposed to be able to get the good stuff. In other words, like aerials where you shoot it up into the air like bottle rockets, Roman candles, mortars, that kind of stuff. We're not supposed to be able to get those here. But... If we go and we tell them, hey, we're just trying to scare off some birds, we have a bird problem, they'll let us buy aerials. So that's what we're going to go do, I think, if we have enough time. Well, if Adam called me. Gosh, I should, uh, yes. Mm, uh, yes. Okay, it's official. We're going. And while we're waiting for Adam to come over here, I wanted to give you guys an update on the garden. So, cucumber plant, you guys have seen that plenty of times. It's doing... It's going crazy. Look, there's a cucumber right there. There's another one right here, a little baby one. That one's all squiggly looking. It's crazy. And then we've got, you know, the other stuff. The stuff is doing good. This is a tomato plant that still has not made any flowers, but it's getting super tall. This corn right here, this is amazing to me. Check this out. There is actually a corn right here, and there's another one right there in that little piece of corn. And then, you know, these are some more tomato plants over here. I know they're looking very very crazy and there's some strawberries down here but it's a little like animals and bugs keep getting the strawberries so they're not not doing so good and then this right here this other big one right here is okra which still has yet to produce any sort of anything which wait it might actually start to be producing something right here there's another one over there and look our little gnomes are still protecting even though they're protecting a lot of weeds right now they're still doing good Oh, our cucumber's lo not looking so hot right now, though. It needs some water. It hasn't rained here in three days. I know, for the one, one time, for a long time, it was like raining every single day, but now it hasn't rained for three days. We must be going through a drought. Maybe something's wrong. And our, our poor green beans are getting, like, overrun. Oh, yeah, this is a green bean plant. Ah, uh, this one, too. By weeds. Stupid weeds. That little garden home right there was protecting a pea plant, but I don't think the peas are there anymore. They seem to be gone. Uh, this garden was hard work and now it's getting overrun by weeds. Hmm, not so fun. This right here though is a carrot. That's good. That's still around. Oh yeah, look, here's the dead pea plant. Oh man. But good news, there are these are peas over here too, so there's they're still doing good. We still got peas going. And here's another carrot over here. And another one right here. So that's good. I mean, they are overrun by weeds, but they're still there. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. Maybe this garden is yet to amaze us. You never know. Oh, we're here. We're at the tent. The tent of all possibilities. Let's buy some fireworks. So many fireworks. After spending way too much money, we are successful. We will have the most amazing 4th of July fireworks presentation ever that guy is riding his bike into the discount tobacco and liquor store like literally right through the front door we might be in the bad part of town we did so good in fact that the people at the front desk were like here here's some free fireworks and, so, they, and they called us cute too yeah they kept telling us that, that we were eye candy That's right. and that we could take as long as we want filling out the forms because we look so good and so we're gonna set off some roman candles right now because they were free. So hooray. So that place is just like in a parking lot of like a handy way or something. <laughs> and no, it's, we, it's a safety mart. In the, in the safety mart. It's in the parking lot of the safety mart, which makes a lot of sense because it's a giant fireworks tent. And we'd never gone there before. We'd always have to drive to like Daytona or Melbourne to get the good fireworks because that's the only place you can go to get them. And then last year I heard about this tent up here and I was like, Oh no, it's not in Daytona or Melbourne, so it can't be real. But we have been to the mountain and we have seen the light. You guys want to see what we got? Check it out. That right there, that is the big finale. Look at the size of this thing, it's huge. And here are the two free Roman candles that we got. And then 
This is like a, not not the finale, but you know, a smaller version of the finale. Same thing here. There was buy one get one free, and then this is what they threw in for free. It's another one of these guys, like that. And then oh, we got all these little tiny Roman candles. That's what we're gonna set off right now. Some of these. And then Adam got these mortars right here. Oh, if you've never seen a mortar go off, it's amazing. It's like a shotgun blowing up in your face. I'm a little less dangerous than that, but it's fun. And then uh, I got some some little tiny mortars, buy one, get one free. Some more of these little tiny whatevers. And some more of these non-finale, finale type things. These little two, they call them 200 gram cakes. And they are like a finale or like a big, like a mortar, like, a, like you see it in the fireworks show where they shoot up in the air and then boom, they explode. But they're, it's like an entire show where you just light one fuse, you step back and boo, pew, it goes up exploding everywhere. It's going to be awesome. And I'll just videotape you with your hand blowing off or whatever happens. And then if your hand is still there, then I'll light mine. Oh. Don't point it at me, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh. hold your hand over the bottom. Oh! Hey! I the tree on fire. Hey! Ooh! Ah! Wee! Yay! Whoa! Oh dear. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh. I think he was trying to actually shoot me. Give us a monologue. Once upon a time, there was a young man, and that young man had a magical wand, and the magical wand shot magical balls of fire, and it was good. Was his name Harry Potter? Fireworks are awesome. We may be out here setting all of them off tonight because this is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, we're such pyromaniacs. Consequently, I didn't have a, a point there. Are you going to shoot it off the driveway? Oh, that was fun. See if you can ramp it off the driveway. Whoa! That was awesome sounding. Oh, you're putting them out when you hit the driveway. Oh, into my... I just hooked down some trees yesterday and you just shot a flaming ball of fire into the dead rubble. Rubble. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Woohoo. <laughs> One more time. Oh, into the... Oh, oh God. <laughs> Knock out the power line. <laughs> I shot it at my neighbor's house on accident. Whoops. Good news. We have uh, 36 more of these. <laughs> okay. We're going to do one of the slightly big ones. It's a little one, but it's a mortar, and so it's going to be awesome. You just wait. We're like little kids in a fireworks shop. This is so much fun. But no, point it at the neighbor's house. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a, it's a slight angle. It should just, you know, go up into nothingness. You need one of those, like, industrial ones like I have. Oh, I know. I need a better lighter. Oh, it burnt you. Oh, buddy. Ooh! Yeah! See? Good times! Good times! Ooh! <laughs> All right, now that we've got a bunch of awesome fireworks, we just need somewhere to set them off and a party to go to. Did we just put the cart before the hearse? Ho horse? Before the hearse. <laughs> Ominous. So, now you guys know, if you happen to see me one day, like I am right now, and then maybe like you accidentally, you know, something comes up and you have to stop watching for a couple of days, and then by next week you come back and I'm like, Mr. One-Handed McGee, you'll know what happened, right? And so on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and now it's time to pay the price. Fireworks. Holy future, you are in uh, Marionville, Missouri. Right here, this yellow pin. Oh man, what's up with you guys across the pond having words that I can't say in the names of your countries? Jam Man 1701 is from Laois. Laois? Lois? Ireland. This yellow pin right here. Can you guys tell me how to say that phonetically in the comments, please? <laughs>